So it's Tuesday, the 25th of October, 2022. And here we are, part two of Prancing Dancing Hair. And I'm giving you a little bit of a grout tutorial. So <clears throat> here's my very favorite grout that I love using. It's Mape's Ultra Color Plus 144 Chocolate. So it's a lovely, rich, sanded grout. Beautiful on external grade mosaics as well as internal, of course. And it has a rich chocolatey um, consistency, actually. <laughs> Can you see? So it's really quite thick. It looks like chocolate ganache, actually. So uh, I've just mixed one cup, just one cup of the grout and the cup is that kind of size that kind of size so early learning center non-spill pot cup so one of these with a little splash of water you know it's usually three parts of powder one part of water so three of these to one of these makes a good mix for your grout but like all things cooking related, you know, not only am I using a mixing bowl, but it's also a good idea to just use a small amount of water using your um, water jug rather than measuring, measuring, because sometimes different elements, including the weather, if it's you're working outside and it starts to dry quickly, or whether it's too cold and it's taking a while to dry. So um, always a good idea to measure by hand uh, with your own intuition, really. Um, glove on. So what I'm doing now, once that now that I've grouted a little bit, um, let me just show you a close up. over here so um i've grouted this just now and in um in a while i'll be using a back of a brush um to take out the excess um you're kind of a bit let's see how i can do this you're kind of a bit sculptural really when you're taking out the excess you know Let's just move you around here. You could use just a glove when you're wearing it to get a better clean to it. So let's just move you around here. This is all homemade, as you can tell, this filmmaking. <laughs> now this is what I wanted to show you the little feet here now what I did was instead of actually cutting up tiles to make little Robin Bobbin's feet I used um, the tiles as a negative if you get what I'm saying so I just cut up triangle triangular pieces of tile so that they work as his feet so that works out very nicely as well can you see so that's one section the next thing i wanted to show you was to show you how i grout as well let's just move this mama in a particular way so i'm going to grout this section here so the other glove on so um you kind of wait for the grout to sort of once you've mixed your grout you kind of wait for it to sort of a bit or start to get become active um, 
So what I now do is add, using my rubber kidney, I'll apply it to the mosaic. Now I'm using a rubber kidney, the kind that you'd use for ceramics um, when you're making your pottery. And it's a great um, smoothing tool for, for your pots. But uh, it's also ideal when you're grouting as well because you're not scratching your mosaic. And it also helps to push in your grout into all the crevices. Some people use hands uh, without gloves. <laughs> And I don't even consider that kind of nonsense. So um, I like using very simple tools, hand, you know, hand tools that uh, do the job very nicely. And I use these tools, things like this, on big mosaics as well. And it works. And it's a big um, uh, rubber kidney, which you can buy in all uh, mosaic supplies, but also at taranti.co.uk in that there, London. So um, you can also find it online and easy to do. I will set you a link later on. So this is what I'm going to be getting on with today. <laughs> um, it shouldn't take me long. It's, it's, everything is of an equal height as well. So another good top tip is to photograph your mosaic before you grout so that you know <laughs> where all your bits and pieces are. Because if you're doing something quite detailed and there are different heights, uh, you want to make sure that you're digging out all those bits and bobs and not forgetting them, you know, that sort of thing. Let me just move this down a little bit lower for you. So that's all there is to it, really. And it cures very nicely. So I did I did that section just about 10 minutes ago, and it's already starting to cure. And you know when things start to cure, when it starts getting dusty. Can you see that that's quite dusty? Um, so you know that's ready to start using the back of the brush. But I've only used a small, I've only used a small batch of grout for that section there um, that I've just grouted for you to see. Just for you, just for you, I have done this. So part three coming up soon when I uh, complete this. So, uh, see you soon. Bye.